2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Northwest Open is about to start. Delighted to have 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam in the booth. I'm Luke Elvey and it's a good morning to Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our featured group. Hey Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Who delivers when it matters most? That's the joy of any rivalry. And this is a good one to win. That was wonderfully done. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. So it'll be a par to start their round. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. Checking the standings now, and they're currently tied for first with multiple major champion Colin Morikawa. Let's go down to John McCarthy, who's been walking the course, getting familiar with this layout. John, what can we expect from Chestnut Hollow this week? I'll tell you one thing we can for sure expect. There will be a river, and it will run through it. This stream runs all over this course, and... Uh can kind of pop up where the players least expect it so the players will need to be mindful of that this stream feeds into a lake that comes into play on holes 10 and 16. another thing to keep in mind uh, this week is the contours of these fairways can be tricky there are, are several fairways on this course that tend to tilt towards trouble so players will need to be mindful of that as well there is also a couple longer par fours on this course so i'm going to be Looking forward to seeing how the players attack those. All in all, an exciting week ahead. Really eager to see how the players attack Chestnut Hollow this week. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. This is their look at birdie. Wonderful shot. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Ah, uh, she'll like that. That's inside the birdie range. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Oh, so close. Big putt for par coming up. You've finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. And after that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off for par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Sitting at one under the car, currently in top spot. Uh-oh, this one leaking out to the right. Well, she's killing Xander Shoffley after that. What a brilliant shot into the screen. And Henny, what are they looking at here? She's looking at just over 12 foot here. Just didn't drop. Putting for a par now. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Whew. Yeah, golf clap, really good. 
And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is up by three shots. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. And after that par, we're looking for something good here. That's really not what we were looking for. That's a heavy lie this player has drawn. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Well, that's a handy shot. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. Was on a good line. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The sixth hole here at Chestnut Hollow Ridge is a big par five. 559 yards for those back tees. Luke, I got to say, though, the big hitters that are not afraid to challenge that stream going down the left-hand side, they could reduce this to almost nothing. This fairway is firm and fast, and that golf hole will chase out forever. You must avoid the bunkers down the right-hand side, though, if you've got any chance or any hope of going for this green in two. Coming up just a little bit shy of the green is actually a good leave. It leaves a simple pitch shot to a very long and slightly undulating green. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Five feet coming up to the cup. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take her to two under. And that puts her in first place. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hey, guys, we are checking in here with Lexi Thompson as she gets set for her next shot here on the ninth. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Outstanding shot. High quality. OK, time to return to the action. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Well, that's a bit disappointing. That's well hold. Now four shots up after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. That is absolutely spot on. The ladies game has been uh, dominated by Koreans for such a long time, but America has been able to have this resurgence basically off the back of Lexi Thompson and the generation she's started to inspire. Lexi Thompson is so fun to watch because she's got a very unique swing. And when you look at it, you, you kind of look back and you go, okay, that went a long way. Okay, that went right at the hole. And she's got such control over a golf ball. It, it's amazing. 
and the wins are going to continue to pile up for her year after year. I'm blown away by the fact that she is so aggressive on every single shot. There is no laying up in her game, and I love that. Now, that might cost her a few wins, but I tell you what, she's going to have a lot of wins because of that as well. I love the way she plays the game. It's exciting. Well, at least it wasn't a double. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Xander Shoffley setting up his next shot. How close was that to going down? Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Our leader is up by four shots now. We have a par four on this one. And he's down there. She's looking at 135 from the flagstick. Woo, back there, horsey. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And he's down there. You got a read? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just three feet to the cup. This for par. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Close to the surface here, the green side rough. Didn't that look good for a long time? Nice recovery there. Great touch. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I didn't think they'd be able to hit that from that lie. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. Oh, look at this soar through the air. Playing from 110 yards out. Left yourself an opportunity. Birdie at the last. This for another. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? She's 15 feet away, and guys, I think she likes this. Looking for another birdie here. Uh, Look good for a while, but unable to drop just inches away. At minus two, going along nicely today. We have a par three on this one. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary?
That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Well, the leader is really starting to gap the field now. They're 10 strokes ahead. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, 13, that's unlucky for some, Rich. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Well, I wouldn't mind hitting the shot, but I wouldn't fancy the walk up here. This is quite uphill. That's a pretty handy shot. This would be a great up and down. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Love watching this player around the greens. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Wow, what a save. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Opting for the 9-iron. She's found the green on this approach. Well, good chance to take it even deeper here. This putts for four under. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, just missed. Job done. Let's head to the next. And looking at the standings now, and they're currently in first place, ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. A lovely play. She's on the dance floor. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Whoa. This is a par putt. And the putt drops. Now at three under, heading down the stretch. What a great feeling being that far ahead with just four to play. Oh my God! I will take that and a spot in the top 10 to boot. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. The 16th at Chestnut Hollow is a, a short four, Rich, measuring just over 320 yards. Only the biggest hitters, unless it's a prevailing win, will be able to go for this green and one. A lot of players, however, Luke, will still take out the driver and try and get it as down there and to the right as far as possible to set up a very easy, simple pitch shot. I'm looking at this as a guaranteed birdie if you want to win this tournament. That was a beauty. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Birdied their last hole. This is Xander Shoffley. Uh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Such soft hands. This putt is about eight feet. Oh, nice looking putt. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, she'll move to four under par.
No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. And now stepping onto this par three hole. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? This should play. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. Oh, what a super shot. Oh, gotta love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. This shot was absolutely perfect. Looks just as nice on the second viewing. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And a chance to ice the tournament here, holding the lead, playing the last. <laughs> Lovely effort, that. Second shot here on the 18th hole. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. She knows if she can get this putt to drop, she'll win the... Well, Rich, I'm in awe. Just how well are they playing? Ah, oh, what a performance all week long, Luke. Well-deserved, hard-earned victory for this player. Great job. And wow, what a rivalry that was. Let's recap some of the results. But it's a big thank you to Henny Koyak for bringing the magic on the ground today. What about what we saw, Henny? Oh, Luke, I've seen some things that I'll never forget, both good and bad, but I had an absolute blast doing it. It was brilliant to watch. Those rivalries, I mean, wow. The pleasure was all mine. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.